Hi guys, so for this little project today, we're going to be putting in a little handrail going down the stairwell here uh, at a rental house. And these are all the tools and parts and pieces we're going to need for this little project today. So, a couple drills, some drill bits, punches, marking tools here, wrench, hammer, tape measure, duct tape, Tabcon drill bit. Some anchor bolts for concrete and some anchor bolts for the wooden posts here. And then we're going to have our handrail. So we have a flange on this side, we have a flange down there. The pipe for the handrail piece. A 90 here, a nipple, and a 90 down there. Oh, yeah, and we can't forget this the Cheerios box. Stay tuned on how we use the Cheerios box. Alright, so we gotta get this pipe measurement in place. Handrail measurement, pipe measurement, ha ha. But anyway, uh, I like to set my handrails at uh, 33 inches off of finished tread. So, 33 inches on center of the pipe. So he's got his set at, Chad's got his set at 33 there. Okay. And then I like to come down here. So he's got his set. And so we've got this one set at 33. Okay. take our sharpie and then we mark our holes center of our holes so we know where to drill all right I like that Chad do you like yours yes I do all right so we'll take this pipe away and then we'll all right so I just want to point this out uh, these strong tie anchors call for a quarter inch drill bit here if I can find it on the picture here so but anyway calls for a quarter inch drill bit and if you notice on this packaging material here it says for use with quarter inch diameter Tapcon anchors but drill bit size is 3 16 by five and a half so don't let that bite you like it did me so I had to go out and buy an actual quarter inch Tapcon drill bit so the pack the packaging confused me so I just saw for use with quarter inch grabbed it was on my way so I was in a hurry yesterday but anyway there you go don't let it bite you too So here it is, the mystery use of the cereal box. Hopefully this will catch our debris from when we start drilling. Uh, I don't know, we'll try it. But anyway, so we take this punch here and we put it on our Sharpie dot and then tap it with a hammer. Hopefully this will keep the drill bit from walking on us. Easier to drill the hole. So I'll just give it a couple taps. Hopefully that worked. Okay, so it says on the packaging here that we have to drill an inch and five eighths minimum depth. So we're just gonna go ahead and drill two inches. And so what we do is we take our tape measure and we measure two inches on our bit and then take a piece of tape, put it on our drill bit, and then that's our drill depth guide right there. So we'll drill down to that depth right there. We should be good. All right, drilling some holes here. So, see if our cereal box catches the dust. Wow, looky there, it worked. 
So don't throw away your cereal boxes. All right, so Chad's going to drill one at the top. It'll hold the pipe in place. It'll, it'll act like a little pivot point for us. It'll hold it. That way we can get this anchored in down here. down here hopefully let's make sure our flange is right on the money here See? <sighs> Real world right there. Okay, so to get to the last anchor point right here, we had to undo the top and then Chad had to raise this handle all the way up just so I could get to the anchor, anchor point here and screw this last lag in. And then my, <laughs> my impact's about shot, so. Want mine? Yeah. We'll get another impact. So let me let me go hold it. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yep. <laughs> See, real world. Nothing goes as planned. So we'll let Chad bring the old default. We're going out. from red to black and yellow. D D D maybe. Guaranteed tough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the backup plan. All right. So let's lower this down. We'll mount it up here. So this thing's almost done. Guaranteed tough. Where's your guaranteed tough, tough drill at? <laughs> All right here. Chad's gonna drill a couple more pilot holes here. This thing's almost done. Fantastic. Couple mil wackies and a default. Job, Chad. So, so this uh, 
this pipe handrail, the cost of this thing was about $50 in parts, uh, including uh, two Tapcom drill bits. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just it's easy, so anybody can do it. Just a little, you know, some measurements here. Just remember you want it 33 inches off of your finished floor. That's what code calls for, anywhere between 31 and 36 inches. I just, 33 is easy for me to remember. So double number, 33 for my handrails. But anyway, Chad Layton, Pat Herter, representing Ronan Master Properties, another fine job. Okay, so these are gonna be all the parts and pieces and tools we're gonna to need to do this little project. So we have some structural anchor cut. 